Hello, this is John from TC Math Academy. And in this video, we're going to practice basic math skills and concepts. And we're gonna go ahead and solve this problem here. So we have three plus parentheses 12 divided by four and parentheses squared times two. So the objective is to simplify this numeric expression into one number. Now you wanna do this problem without the aid of a calculator. I'm not saying uh, you know using calculators is always bad. You certainly want to use a calculator as a tool, but uh, really what we're trying to do is see if you have these skills and concepts down. And uh, many of you are going to be taking tests and quizzes. You're not going to be able to use your calculator. And unfortunately, a lot of you are probably going to get something uh, wrong here because you don't have one of the most essential uh, basic math concepts and skills down. Okay, now I've been teaching math for decades and when students get in trouble uh, in math, it's oftentimes because they haven't mastered the basics. But anyways, if you think you could do this problem, put your answer into the comment section. I'm gonna show you the correct answer in just one second and I'm gonna fully explain this problem step by step. Also, if you need math help with the course you're taking, test prep or homeschooling, Make sure to check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's go to take a look at the answer. So what is the answer? The answer is 21. Okay, so how'd you do? Well, hopefully you got this right. If that's the case, let's celebrate by giving you a nice little happy face and A plus a 100% and multiple stars so you can brag to your friends and family that yes, indeed, you are an expert in the order of operations, okay? So that's what we're talking about here. That's probably the primary skill that we need to um, have outside of just basic math skills, right? So I'm assuming that you know how to add, divide, and multiply basic numbers. But what we really have here is addition, division, we have powers, we have parentheses, and we have uh, multiplication. So the way you do this problem, uh, there has to it has to be done in a specific order because if you don't do it in a specific order, you're going to end up getting another answer other than the correct answer. Now, I think this problem uh, should have been pretty easy for most of you. I'm hoping that uh, most of you out there, at least 75% of you got this right. But if you got this wrong, I'm glad that you got this wrong. Now, why would I say such a thing? Well, I'm saying that because it gives me an opportunity to clear up any confusion that you had on this problem. So let's go ahead and get into the solution right now. And again, as I indicated, we need to uh, understand what we call the order of operations, okay? Outside of just knowing how to add, uh, subtract, multiply, divide, these type of basic number operations, we need to understand, hey, which, uh, what do I do first? Do I do addition, division, multiplication, you know, that type of thing. Well, this little acronym right here, PEMDAS, P-E-M-D-A-S, is the secret to doing a problem like this, okay? It's just basically a little acronym that describes the proper order of operations. Now, uh, when we talk about this, what kind of operations are we talking about? Well, we're not talking about like, hey, I need to do knee surgery first, and then I gotta do a hip replacement next, and then uh, I gotta do, you know, uh, shoulder surgery. No, that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about mathematical operations. So um, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. These are examples of mathematical operators. Okay, so we have the order of operations. And uh, this tells us, hey, what do we do first? Okay, do we do uh, multiplication, addition, subtraction? So let's go through this acronym real quick and then we'll get into the prom. So the first thing is P that stands for parentheses. So anything that has parentheses, uh, certainly we have parentheses in this problem, but really the P is um, more technically um, uh, uh, what we call grouping symbols. So it could be parentheses like this or brackets and even squiggly brackets like so. So these are examples of grouping symbols. And uh, there's uh, another aspect to um, when you look at the, the P for PEMDAS is that we want to work from um, the innermost uh, parentheses. So let's say you had a math problem, you had some parentheses like this, you had some number of stuff going on here, plus seven brackets, like, six, the, like so, plus three. I would say, okay, what's my most innermost parentheses? It would be this situation, right? So maybe this is like 
eight times two or whatever you do this first okay so anyways i'm kind of um quickly going over this this really um uh justifies like a complete full instruction matter of fact if you want to check out my full uh material on the order of operations i'm going to suggest uh two or three different courses i teach this in my pre-algebra and algebra courses you can find the links to those in the description of this video but if you need a good strong basic math review check out my math foundation course because uh, I get into fractions, decimals, and percent, all that kind of good stuff. Okay, so that's the P. So E is what? Well, this stands for exponents, but really it's uh, powers. Okay, so like two to the third power. So anything that looks like this where we have an exponent, this little number up in the top right is called the exponent. This big number down here is called the base. The entire thing is called a power. So after we do parentheses, we're going to do powers. And then we're going to do multiplication and division, whatever we see first from left to right, and then addition and subtraction. And we're going to be working from left to right. Now, you're going to want to do a lot more um, problems other than this one, okay, to, you know, that can, uh, so you can really practice the order of operations. And math teachers, including myself, love to come up with little tricky situations that confuse students uh, to really test your understanding of the order of operations. So this problem is actually pretty easy. It's almost um, easy to get right. You can probably guess and, and get this uh, correct, but there's gonna be a lot of other more um, uh, interesting problems where it's gonna challenge your understanding of the order of operations. But again, if you need help with that, uh, check out, I have a ton of additional videos on my YouTube channel and you can go to my courses as well. Okay, so once we um, you know, understand this PEMDAS, and by the way, if you want a nice little saying for this, there is a little phrase, and this has been out for I don't know how many generations, probably your, your great-grandparents probably remember this. It goes, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Please ex excuse my dear Aunt Sally. I'm not sure what dear Aunt Sally did, but please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. It's a little uh, mnemonic, uh, little memory aid for PEMDAS. Okay, so now what do we do? Uh, now, well, we're going to scan the problem and we're going to be uh, just kind of going through this checklist. So I'm saying, all right, do we have any parentheses? Indeed, we do. These are some parentheses. So we're going to do what's inside of these parentheses. We only have one set of parentheses. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do this first 12 divided by 4. Okay, so let's just take this one step at a time. And that's really the key to math is not, do to, not doing a lot of steps and writing each step you know, so your teacher can see and you can uh, verify and see that, hey, you're doing uh, this, um, you know, problem in the correct order. Okay, so 12 divided by 3 is what? That is, I'm sorry, 12 divided by 4, excuse me, is 3. So now the problem is 3 plus 3 squared times 2. Don't take two steps or three steps in one, just one step at a time. All right, so at this point, we have to uh, decide uh, by looking at this, let me just kind of go down here. What to do next? Well, let's look at the uh, P again. Is there any more parentheses? Well, there's a set of parentheses, but there's nothing to do. There's not like three plus one. So if there's nothing to do in, inside those, uh, all there's no parentheses other than this one, there's nothing else to do, we're done with parentheses. So let's move on to E. And now we're gonna ask ourselves, are there any powers, okay? Indeed, we have a power right here. This is three to the second power. So that's what we're gonna do next, okay? Now, if, there's, if there were other powers in the problem, you would also uh, take care of those situations at this step. So three squared is what? Well, hopefully you have a good understanding of basic powers. Three squared means three times three, which of course is nine. Okay, so at this point, we have three plus three squared times two. So the result of uh, uh, three squared is nine. So the problem is three plus nine times two. So hopefully you can see that this is now pretty straightforward. What do we do f um, first? Do we do addition or we do the multiplication? Well, we can go back to our PEMDAS and we can see, oh, there's no more powers. So you're always gonna look at multiplication and division as a group. So if there's any multiplication and division, you're gonna take care of that, whatever comes first. Uh, from left to right before you look at addition and subtraction. So right here, we obviously have uh, multiplication. So we're gonna handle that and then we'll add the result of this to three. So nine times two is of course, what? Well, that's 18. And then we're gonna have uh, three plus 18 of course is 21. 
All right, so uh, again, this is a, 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 an example of using the order of operations uh, or order of operations to simplify what we call a numeric expression in mathematics. Now, let me just write this real quick because it's, you know, these words um, and terms mean something. Numeric expression. If I said, express yourself, tell me a story, well, what would you do? You would just write sentences, right? In, in English, if that's your language, you're going to be like, hey, you know, uh, da, da, da. you'll tell me something, you'll express a thought, uh, whatever the case is, by writing. Well, in mathematics, if you want to express something, we can use um, variables. Okay, we can have an algebraic expression. But if we're using numbers to express something in math, we just call this a numeric expression. So kind of the um, uh, formal direction to this problem would be simplify the numeric expression. Okay, simplify, i.e., this is a bunch of you know numbers. Let's just get this down to one number. And in this case, that one number is 21. Okay, so hopefully this little video helps you out. And if that is the case, don't forget to like and subscribe again if you uh, want additional help or if you need real full math instruction on this because you're not quite sure if you understand it. Just check out uh, uh, my different course links in the description. But uh, with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.